वेलकम बैक टू बीटी विद टूरिस्ट एंड दिस वीडियो इज अ वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो फॉर मी दिस हैज नो कैप्शन टू इट लाइक यू नो समर लुक डे टाइम लुक नाइट टाइम लुक पार्टी लुक नथिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन फ्लॉन्ट यू कैन वेर दिस एनी टाइम एक्चुअली दिस इज अ इंस्पायर्ड लुक आई केम अक्रॉस दिस इंस्टाग्राम आर्टिस्ट uh i think her name is little mua something like that i will have a details mentioned in the description box below and uh, that look really um i i instantly got attracted to that look and i was like okay i want to try this <clears throat> so this is my version of her look her inspired look and i hope you like this as much as i've loved creating this look and um if you like it you know the drill don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any doubts anything you want to have a conversation with me anything absolutely at all mention in the comment box below until my next video and next look bye bye hello and welcome back today i have already done my eyebrows and i have moisturized my face you can use any moisturizer that suits your skin type so let's begin with eyes first and as a eye primer i'm going to use this maybelline age rewind concealer in the shade medium and i'm going to apply it all over my eyelid all the way up to the eyebrow then i'm going to blend this with pack brush and i will be applying um translucent setting powder from laura mercier to make it more smooth as a canvas base since this is a very sharp cat eye look and for this uh, sharpness i'm going to apply uh, cello tape and we are going to apply this in a way that is uh, at the end of the eye and all the way to the end of the eyebrow and here i'm using uh, nyx's jumbo pencil in the shade milk which is extremely white because we want these light blue eye shadows to pop up now here i'm using the nyx jumbo pencil in the shade uh, cobalt which is dark blue a uh, shimmery kind of a uh, color and i'm going to blend this with my fingers because i feel the blending part is very seamless uh, when i'm using my fingers as opposed to using any brush at this initial stage now with the help of a very small pencil brush i'm going to apply this milk uh, shade which is white shade to the uh, innermost tear duct of the eye for the white eye shadow to pop up now i'm going to use this creme brulee eye shadow which is from makeup geek and apply it in my crease with the help of a morphe brush and blend it basically this will act as a transition shade the second shade i'm going to use is latte again from makeup geek which is a tad bit darker than the previous shade that we used and i'm going to do the blending process the third shade that i'm going to use is coco bear which is the darkest of all and apply it at the end of the eye and then blend it with the same brush no i guess i've changed the brush over here and this is from pack so basically if we go from lighter to darker eye shadows the whole blending process is very easy gradient and seamless as against to a very sharp eye look over here in this process of blending i realized that i'm losing out on my base eye shadows and so i'm applying it again uh, with the pencil brushes that i used earlier now for the eye shadows i'm going to use all shades from coastal scent uh, palette and since they don't have any number any names i'll be showing like this as i'm pointing it right now with flat shader brush from pack i'm mixing these two light sky blue shades and will apply it only to the inner one third of the eye then i will be mixing these two two ink blue shades and apply it from the center of the eye to the outer v you will have to keep on adding packing the colors and blending these until you get the desired gradient slash ombre effect And now for the darkest color I'm using this spoiled eye shadow from Pack and spray some Spix Plus to get the maximum color payoff. Now with the same flat shader brush I will apply this only to the outer V and blend it outwards till we've applied this cello tape. Don't worry even if it's sloppy because the cello tape once we peel it off you will get that sharp cut. Now I'm going to use this black eye shadow from the same Coastal Scents palette and with this flat Sorry with this pencil brush from pack I will just apply it uh, close to the cello tape and then blend it inwards with the same flat shader brush Now with the earlier used brush from Morphe I'm just going to blend without any additional product uh, all these eye shadows and blend it into the crease so that you know there is no harsh line whatsoever With this angular brush I guess this is from pack I'm going to apply a white eye shadow 
only to the arch of the eyebrow you can use any eye uh, light eye shadow um, so that you know the eyebrows gets that lift now over here i'm going to apply eyeliner uh, here i'm using inglots gel eyeliner and this is sigma uh, e65 angular brush i guess and i will apply it as you can see over here if you want to have a mini tutorial on how to apply wing eyeliner please don't forget to mention it in the comments section below and i will make a small tutorial on the same don't worry if you can if you're not expert at getting a wing because now that you've applied this cello tape automatically you will have a beautiful wing eyeliner ready once you peel off the cello tape since my main focus in this video is on how to get your eye look right i will be rushing through my rest of the face makeup quickly the products that i'm using are pretty much standard to reduce my pores i'm using benefits professional primer then i'm using l'oreal's pro glow foundation in shade 209 and real technique foundation brush to apply the same after which i will be using urban decay's weightless concealer in medium neutral and will apply it on the standard areas like uh, forehead bridge of the nose under my eyes on the cupid's bow and on my chin then i'm going to use max blush in pinch me and with real technique blush brush will apply it above my cheekbone and blend it then i'm going to use rimmel london scandalize pencil in the shade nude and apply it on the waterline after which i'm going to use the same nyx jumbo pencil in cobalt blue and will apply it on the lower lash line and blend it with a pencil brush now for the lips i'm going to use uh, max lip liner in in control and will line my lips and then fill it with max lipstick in the shade mare now to top it off i'm going to use this uh, lip gloss in the shade delightful these three are my like go to uh, combination ever now i'm going to spray some max fix plus to set my makeup and wait until it dries i will be applying highlighter from laura geller which is gilded honey on uh, the cheekbone on the bridge of the nose actually this step is supposed to be done before you set your makeup with this we come to the end of the tutorial bye bye